Hi everybody from a beautiful day in Skyrim. I'm at Half Moon Cottage today. It's a brand new mod by AK0D. And I've seen a couple of their mods before, not least of all Riders Dragonfly robes, which I really loved. Um, also the Orc Stronghold Home Dull Kazoon and that Dwemer Research Station one that I can never pronounce. Mulchu, blah, 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 that one. Mulchu. I'll uh, leave it linked below. So this place, uh, there's no map marker for it. They've just got to find it. It's very easy to find. It's partway between Evergreen Grove and Half Moon Mill. And it's free. You can just literally open the door and move in. There's a heck of a, a lot of different styles in this place, eh? I mean, I'm getting a bit of everything from this outside. <laughs> very interesting. I like the fact that my garden is guard guarded by a lion. That's lovely. How cool is that? And really nice little detail. Also has a tower room, which is very cool. So there's the home, but there's also a separate cellar, which you can only access from outside of the house. I'll show you that first because obviously if I don't I'll for completely forget. There's a wood chopping block there. And the cellar houses your smithy. So uh, no smelter. But, you know. It's very small, cosy and practical. And nicely vented too. That's always a detail that I love to see. And I really like this terrace effect at the front here. And it's really hard to fit homes into scenery sometimes. And the mod author's done a really good job with this. Okay, inside. So, no follower rooms, no kids rooms. It's literally just for you. And it's very bijou. Oh, hi. <laughs> magically appearing in front of me. There's a cooking pot and here is your alchemy lab, pestle and mortar, and the storage is quite basic, sacks and chests, that type of thing. It's a, a warm and cosy looking place. You've got all your stores here, all of this is static decoration. Looks like you've got everything you need to go out on your adventures, spare pair of boots, a little hat, potions, apple, yeah, it's cute. Nice. I don't know what this is, but it's beautiful. Glowing away there. And then this tower room, this ground floor part of it, it's nice. There's there's no activators. I thought this was going to be like a window seat, but I guess it, it could be. But like I say, no activators. I've also got some rustic windows installed, which is why my panes look like this. They're quite lovely, aren't they? So yeah, it's a neat little idea this. I would love a tower room in real life. And I also really like the ceiling. That is beautiful. So nice. And then next door to that, you come out here, there's a chest with bits and pieces in. Yeah. Nothing exciting, just a general sort of storage area, a few stacks and whatnot. And then up into your tower, It's quite incongruous. I don't know, this this uh, change of styles. Here's your bedroom. All baskets and furs, etc. I like the way this seat's covered. Great big axe by your bed. And it is a single bed, so, you know, nowhere for Inigo to bunk up. If you've got a follower with you, then maybe get that bedroll mod. And that's just decoration, by the way. And here is your enchanter. So, ooh, I like that. And a little desk with static deco. And again, a bit more storage. And then finally, up onto your top deck with the most beautiful views and just a chair to sit in and admire them. Wow, okay, I'm going to leave the video here with that 
beautiful picture. If you're wondering what that purple tree is, by the way, over there peeking through the branches, that's uh, Dovakin Island Retreat, which is also another fabulous mod. Okay, I will leave it here. Call that the end of this video. Say thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Do let me know what you think about it down in the comments and I will see you soon for the next one. Take care and stay safe everybody.